Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I had an interesting clearing experience this morning, in the very early hours of the morning before sunrise, that I thought I'd explain because I think it affected uh, a number of people, quite a few people here on earth, in form, and also uh, I think it had to do with the imminent geostorm. It's supposed to be hitting Earth anytime soon. It was, it's a direct hit of a small to medium geostorm. And, uh, and uh, we'll see what that brings. But, but lately, <clears throat> the imminent arrival of geostorms is already heralding a clearing of the soul field of many people on Earth. And that, in fact, was the case this morning. I can't wait to see what happens as the storm continues. So, um, what I noticed was, uh, as in several previous mornings, I had a very dull headache in the back of my head and uh, a feeling of, uh, uh, like, mm, hotness and uh, pain in my back, where my, about the level of my heart and uh, tension in, in, in the backs of my shoulders. And in past I had thought, well, maybe this has to do with my aerobics lessons that I've been taking. But, but today I tried something different. I tried um, uh, going into the pain according to Sri Aurobindo's uh, technique for healing oneself, which I'll be discussing in a separate blog. Um, so, so the whole point of that kind of healing is that instead of avoiding pain and trying to like mitigate pain and so forth, you go directly into it and discover the uh, the nature of the pain, and then the pain goes away or dissolves. So that's what I did. I started with my head, which was hurting the most. It felt like like a dull, deep, leaden pain all through the back of my head. And as I concentrated, I began to notice all kinds of astral stories and thought forms packed into that part of my brain, which I truthfully haven't had a chance to explore before, and I haven't felt pain about before either. So for a while, I was paying attention to the astral stories because these were so new to me, and they also uh, gave me a chance to thought, study of the thought forms there, gave me a chance to understand the difference in like the, the um, uh, the quality of thinking in that part of the brain from the, the type of thinking that takes place in the frontal lobe. So uh, I'll talk more about that when I know more about it. But briefly, um, pictures are in the back of the head aren't 3D. Uh, they're, and they aren't in color, they're in black and white. So they're more like sketches or archetypal images. Um, so anyway, this had to do with thoughts that other people had like packed into that area of my head during the night. And uh, what I found out was that there are people out there who are trying to figure out ways to brain control other people. And I've talked about this before under mind control. And here, here was a notion, a new notion perhaps, that, that people might be mind controlled by casting thoughts into that this back area of their brain. So that I found interesting because it basically is doomed to failure. <laughs> so, uh, so, and that's because that part of the brain is just not the part of the brain that, that it's, it's like mud or like a very pea soup fog back there. It's the kind of place where you slow-mo sense things. It's not sharply aware like the prefrontal lobe. And it's not analytical. It's just the thought forms back there just float around in a kind of a muddy haze. I'll know more later. So, but the minute I let go of these thought forms and so forth, I, I began to sense, as Sri Aurobindo has suggested, the actual pains that were taking place in that in that part of the head. And and as I did that, all of that, um, all of those energies started to transform and concomitantly and simultaneously, I felt little pinpricks of energy, bursts of light, like in my feet and other places of my body. And then the energy that was clearing passed through this area in the back of my head. It went down um, into my chest, into um, and from the back of my chest, 
at heart level and and then to the left to the right side of my torso inside and where a bunch of clearing took place again in, in masses of energy masses of cells were changing and from there it went down to my lower intestine and, and there were a series of clearings like this in that part the energy came up suddenly up through that part clearing it out so so I would say there was just a huge amount of, of cellular transformation that took place early this morning probably to do with the incoming CME um, and that the that what I had felt before probably had to do with people trying to to place thought forms in the very back of my head here created so it, it created these pains and so if you feel pains in your head right now the likelihood is they're related either to thought forms being crammed in there and needing to clear out or else to cellular transformation that's what I think well that's all for now y'all take care and uh, and I wish you the very best in clearing through this incoming coronal mass ejection have a wonderful time with it I hope